this uh, uh, meeting, although sometimes it messes things up. Um, but uh, apart from that, uh, we'll get started now. And I'm going to start by um, sharing my uh, screen with you. Let's see if I can find the right, uh, the right one here, I think. Okay, and um, I hope you can all uh, see that. Um, and the topic today is about playing hands in no trump. Um, and I thought I'd actually start with a, an example of a hand um, which I actually saw on uh, very similar to one I saw on Bridge Base Online. I've just modified it slightly. Um, and this really is a good example of how not to play a hand. All right, how not to play um, a hand in no trump. Um, so um, let's have a look at this one. Um, the bidding on this one was one no trump by south, and that was passed out. North might have made some kind of bid here. They've got 10 points, um, four spades. They might have invited game or looked for a spade fit and then invited game, but they elected to pass, which is um, also reasonable. And this was how it, it, this hand was played out. West was on lead and led a club. And, um, and this is pretty much how it went. Um, Declara beat the king with the ace. And they played the queen of clubs. Now, that is a, a really bad play, isn't it? Because it's knocking out your only stopper in clubs. Um, it's a suit the opponents led. And believe it or not, I, I see this quite a bit. And it's all right to do this if, if you're playing in a suit contract. But in no trump, it's a terrible thing to do um, because you're just taking your two clubs and leaving yourself wide open. But believe it or not, I see quite a few people do this kind of thing. Anyway, declare a wonder queen of clubs. Then they cash the ace of spade. They cash the ace of diamonds. And they cash the ace of hearts. And what they're doing is they're cashing their five top tricks and um, you know you may think that's a reasonable thing to do but it's actually exactly what not to do on this hand if we bring up the four hands at this point let's see how it went after that well then then they maybe tried spades but west gets in and west of course is gonna play clubs so they take the jack the best play actually by east here is if they play the ten of hearts it traps the queen they can carry on with the hearts, take their diamonds, and um, they can also take their clubs at the end. And then if they're lucky, they may even make a trick with the um, nine of hearts and might only make those uh, five tricks there. So this was an example of what you, you shouldn't do. How should you play this hand? Well, let's replay it again. Again, you get a, fa a favorable lead of a club. And before you do anything on uh, hand, especially in a no trap, you need to count where your tricks are coming from. Count your top tricks and then look at opportunities for more. So um, I started off with one sure club trick, but once I lead a club, I've got two definite club tricks, haven't I? So I'm going to count that as two tricks there. What other top tricks have I got? Well, I've got one in diamonds, one in hearts, and one in spades. So I've got those five top tricks that I should um, uh, can make straight away. But of course, I want to do much better than that. I want to make my contract and, if possible, make over tricks. And um, there are a few likely sources of tricks. I think the best one is in diamonds, where you've got all the top diamonds except for the king and queen. And you can lead this suit um, and try to finesse um, hopefully one of the finesses will succeed. So that's probably a good bet. Let's suppose they play the king and you take it with your ace. And then I would immediately set about the diamonds. And, and probably the best thing to do is to lead the jack, for example. And if West plays low, let it run around. Okay. East wins that. They play a club, which comes back, which you can take. What are you going to discard from the um, north hand here, by the way? Well, I think I want to keep, yeah, I think, aha, excellent, yes. I think I want to keep my spades. They're a good source of tricks and the diamonds. So I think I'll discard a heart. Now I try the finesse again. This time the king appears. 
and everyone follows. And if you're um, counting, that means that all the diamonds are out. The eight have gone, and you've got three in dummy, 19, 11, 12, 13. So your diamonds are now um, set up. So you're going to make a lot more tricks in diamonds. You can um, take uh, start taking diamonds here. The other thing you can try and do on this hand is um, try one of the finesses, either the heart finesse, but I think the spade finesse has a better option of establishing more tricks, doesn't it? Um, so the only danger in that is um, that the opponents may get in with the king of spades and may be able to uh, take a number of club tricks. But on, you're only in one no trump, and you've taken two club tricks anyway, so probably the opponents won't be able to take more than uh, three more club tricks. So you may decide to um, to risk the, uh, the finesse here um, in spades. I mean, if you were playing, by the way, in, in a, um, a team game, you might decide not, not to risk that because you've got four tricks in the bag, you've got two more diamonds and two more uh, aces to cash. So you've got eight definite tricks. But if you're aiming for over tricks, um, what you could do is take your diamond there and then maybe lead the jack of uh, spades. And on this layout, the finesse succeeds. So you can actually, um, then when you play it again, the king appears. And now your spades and your diamonds are all good. Okay, so you can uh, catch your last spade. And then you play a heart. East discard, so you know there's no finesse here. Um, so you take your ace and give up the last trick. Um, but, you know, with a bit of luck, um, reasonable distribution, you should make 11 tricks rather than just the five that, um, that you've made just by catching your top tricks. Anyone have any questions on that? So, so that's a relatively um, simple example, I'd say, but it, it sort of shows the importance of, you know, not just taking your tricks, but looking at opportunities for establishing tricks and uh, trying finesses too. Um, if they are available. Try another one here. Um, South here opens one no trump, North raises to three no trump, and the opponents lead a heart. So take a minute. I mean, especially when you're playing online, um, you know, you're, there's less pressure with, uh, you know, people watching you, or they, they don't know what you're doing. You take your time and count your top tricks. So how many top tricks do we have on this hand? Well, we've got seven. Yeah, we have seven. Very good, whoever said that. We've got two spades, two hearts, three diamonds, um, and that is our top tricks. Now, obviously, we want to make we want to make nine tricks here, um, and there's um, two possibilities to make more tricks. One is the diamonds; they might divide evenly, and you might take one more trick. But really, the clubs are the best bet. This, this kind of suit combination often people sort of ignore because the clubs don't look that good. But look carefully, and you've got the Queen Jack 10 9 here. So if you leave this suit twice, you'll be able to force out the uh, ace and the king and hopefully make your two tricks to bring your total to nine. So, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, is there any risk in that? Well, of course there is. There's a risk in playing clubs that the opponents will get in and we'll be able to take um, more tricks. Um, and you might be worried, especially in hearts, which is the suit they've led. There is a clue on this hand, actually, on that lead. If you trust that they're leading their normal leads of fourth highest, the lead of a two is always their fourth highest card. I don't know if you uh, can work that out. In fact, the lead of their lowest card um, will always be their fourth highest. So you can actually tell that the hearts are dividing fairly evenly. West has got four. You've got three in here. So East has got three. So what that means is that you're not in great danger in hearts. The, you don't expect the opponents to be able to take more than two heart tricks. You're going to take two with the ace and king, uh, and then they'll be able to take two. But that, that shouldn't be such a great threat for you. So you really have to go after the clubs here. Um, it's really your only chance to make the contract. And especially here, if you work out hearts are not such a threat, you'll go ahead and do that. Um, what you know, beginners do on a hand like this is they just cash their top tricks. They take their 
spades, their hearts, their diamonds. Then they look around for clubs. And of course, they've set up all the tricks for the opponent. So you mustn't do that. Um, uh, you can win this one with the ace and then immediately set about the clubs. You must play a, a high club on one of the, from one of the hands here to force out the ace or king. Let's suppose they win with the ace and play back a heart. You can win that one. Okay. And then play clubs again. And you're, you're planning to play the, uh, the nine here to force out the, the high uh, king, uh, king there. If, by the way, you play the nine and they let you win it, well, you've now made one club trick, but you now need to make another one. So if for any reason they don't take that, you need to play Please. clubs again, okay? Force out the king. And now um, the opponents are in, and unfortunately they'll be able to cash hearts, but fortunately they can only take uh, two heart tricks there, okay? Um, and after that, whatever they play, you finally um, got your spades in and cross to dummy, and finally you'll make your uh, last tricks in dummy. By the way, if you're playing on uh, uh, BBO and you get to a point like this, you should claim here once the outcome is clear. So claim uh, you know, relatively early on if, if you think you're going to make all the rest of the tricks. A lot of you do that, which helps speed up the game. Any uh, comments on that one? No. That was a fairly clear-cut one. Um, here's one that actually was played on a, a Friday afternoon um, uh, last year, I think. Um, south here is your partner, and they open two no trumps. So that shows a balanced hand with 20 to 22 points. Uh, north here, you've got how many points? 1, 2, 5, 10, 10, 10 12 oh. points here. Okay. Anyone like to suggest what you should bid with this hand? Four no trumps. Four no trump, a confident four no trump from someone. Yeah, that's my choice here. Four no trump in this situation is not used as blackwood. There's another talk I, I've given about when is four no trump not blackwood. You can see it on YouTube. Um, and this is one of the situations. Four no trump here is used on a hand where you've got about 11 or 12 points and you want to invite um, six no trump. Your partner will pass if they're a minimum, but... Uh, otherwise, they will go on. Here, I think they've got 22 points, so they accept your invitation, and you end up in 6-no trump here. Uh, the opponents lead a spade, and just like we did before, we're going to count our top uh, tricks in each. So, so take a minute and see if you can work out how many likely tricks you have. Well, I've got two spades, three hearts, that's five, I'm using my fingers here, and probably four diamonds. So if the, if the diamonds divide reasonably or if the jack of diamonds drops, I have a good chance to make four tricks there. Might only make three if there's a very bad division, but uh, we'll come back to that. So how many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in clubs, I've got two top tricks. So I count that as 11 um, if the diamonds divide evenly. And where is the chance for more tricks? Which suit? Diamonds. Well, I've already counted four diamonds, so I can't do better Only than diamonds. Only clubs now. A yeah, club. clubs you meant. You meant to say clubs. I know you did. So, yeah, clubs is really the only um, uh, chance there uh, of making any extra tricks. And you've actually got um, uh, one possibility is the club finesse, that you would lead a club towards your jack and um, uh, be able to make a trick if the queen is on your right. Or even if that failed, you might be lucky and the clubs might divide evenly, 3-3, three, three, then you make a trick. Or there's a third chance here, which is that someone has a four-card club suit and discards from it. If you think about it, if you've got seven clubs, you're hoping for a 3-3 three, three distribution, but on bridge base especially, you often don't get that. You might get a 4-2 distribution, but if someone discards from a four-card holding, you could still make another trick there. So really, clubs is your only good chance here. Um, now, what are you going to uh, do first? Let's suppose you win the first trick. Well, it's not a bad idea to try to catch your diamonds um, early because it will put pressure on the opponents as to what to discard. 
and maybe someone will discard a club which might help you. So let's try the diamonds. Okay, with cash the ace, we suppose we play the king. Okay, and we're lucky on this occasion that um, the, the diamonds divided. So eight have gone, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So uh, we now know that our diamonds are going to uh, uh, run. We'll make four tricks there. Um, now, you could actually carry on with diamonds here, not because you're making any extra tricks, but because you're hoping that the opponent will discard something that might help you. So if you play your last diamond, east discards a heart, and west discards a club. Now, that to me looks like quite good news because it makes it more likely, in my thinking, that west probably doesn't have um, a holding where he's trying to protect the queen of clubs. So, so maybe he's um, you know, discarding a club. Maybe that will help you here anyway. Okay. So we're going to um, turn our attention to uh, uh, clubs now. And actually, um, the best way, if you, if you want to know the, the absolute best way to play this club suit, is actually not the way I'm going about to play it, but to, to actually cash the ace, then go back to dummy, and then finesse again. By catching the ace, you give yourself an extra chance that the queen of clubs is a singleton. But let's suppose I, I don't do that. I just try the finesse straight away, which is a slightly inferior line. You cross your fingers here, and if you're lucky, the uh, jack will win the trick, and that will be your 12th trick. Now, after that, there's no more finesses to try, so you may as well just catch your um, ace. Okay. And um, and he plays the queen. So if you're counting the clubs at this stage, and you'll realize that someone discarded one, you should now realize that your seven of clubs is actually a good trick now. So uh, what I do is uh, you could go over to dummy, take your remaining tricks here, and actually cash the seven of clubs, and then your ace of spades. And on this particular layout. Uh, if, if you play it uh, that way, you're, you know, you're lucky you get the 3-3 three, three break in clubs and you get the queen of uh, clubs on your right. So you can actually make all 13 tricks. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? No. This, this was another one, um, again, where uh, a lot of people got to 6 no trump, but only about half uh, people made it. Um, and again, it's all about counting your top tricks and then seeing where you might be able to make more. So um, you hear that it's straightforward. It just goes two no trump, six no trump. Um, and the opponents lead a spade, the queen of spades. Let's stop and count our top tricks. So how many top tricks have you got? Well, I think you've got two spades. Eleven. Three hearts. And diamonds, you actually do have um, four diamond tricks. You have to be a little bit careful about uh, how you make sure you play those to make your get your four tricks. Um, and then uh, you've got two clubs, so that comes to eleven tricks. Where can you make some more from? Club. Yeah. Again, there's only really one option here, and it's the clubs. And what you have to hope is that you'll be able to make one extra. Uh, club trick here. You have to hope that the clubs divide evenly uh, or somehow you manage to make another club trick here. And that's really your only chance to make 12 tricks here. So um, let's um, win that first one. And I think it's quite a good idea to um, take your diamonds here because you're not, you're not in danger of setting up any diamond tricks for the opponent. So take your um, diamond tricks. Okay. And then maybe come back here and cash your last diamond. You're sort of trying to put pressure on the opponents uh, to discard something that may help you. They discard a spade, they discard a heart. So there's no real help there. Um, and we'll just play the club and hope that they divide 3 2. So it's our only really good chance to play the king of clubs, the ace of clubs. And if everyone follows, you now know there's just one club left, um, and you can let them win that, but 
they won't be able to make any more tricks um, uh, after that because you've got stoppers now. So I play the club there, lose that one to the queen, but whatever they play back, you've got the king, and now you've got your last two clubs and your last two hearts. Okay. Any questions on that one? No. All right. Is it easy on the screen? All right, let's have a look at this one. Here you open two clubs, your partner bids two diamonds, and you rebid two no trump. Now, this is how you show a balanced hand with 23 or 24 points. And it's a one time when you open two clubs that your partner is allowed to stop short of game. Uh, so I would expect my partner to have a very weak hand if they had even you know, two or three points, they may well go on. But um, they leave the king of clubs and down comes dummy and you can see why they passed and you're in a, um, <clears throat> a pretty tricky contract of two no trump. Again, let's stop to um, count our tricks. So we've got two spades, two hearts, one diamond, and one club. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six tricks there. Um, the suit where we might be able to make some more tricks is diamonds, isn't it? Diamonds, yeah. Yeah. The only problem is um, getting to dummy. Yeah, they're going to get him with a king, and they're going to, um, uh, you know, possibly be able to take a number of tricks. Now, they leave the king of clubs here, and another important thing you should do in, in no trump when they lead a suit that you're weak in, and in fact you expect to lose a lead, is um, use the rule of uh, seven. It's something I've talked about before, but on a hand like this, what you do is you count how many clubs have I got um, this is a suit I'm worried about, which is one, two, three, four, five. Take that away from seven. Seven minus five is two. Eight. And, and that would suggest that you duck twice. So you take away the number of cards you have. In other words, it's suggesting you duck twice on this hand. You can't duck more. So let them win the first one. Let them win the second one. And let's suppose they play a third one. What are you going to discard from dummy here? Spade. Spade. Yeah, half or a spade seems reasonable. I mean, you, you have a hope of, of a hope to make your diamond, so let's discard something else, and we have to win this one. And um, now, we're, now we're going to um, try to play the diamonds. Now, in a different hand, what you would do is cross to dummy and lead diamonds and try and finesse. But here you've got no chance of getting to dummy. Dummy's so weak that you can't really uh, hope to get there. Your only chance here is actually to give up on any try, trying to finesse. Let them win the king, but hope that they let you um, uh, play the clubs. If I bring up the four hands um, at this point, um, what you might do, and there are different ways of doing this, but what you might do is lead the ace of diamonds and then lead the queen of diamonds and you're hoping that East uh, takes that, aren't you? You're hoping that East takes that with the um, king because you'll then be able to get to dummy with, with a, a diamond, uh, with your diamond to take your remaining uh, diamond tricks, okay? Um, and the other thing that worked out well on this hand, if you remember, you, you didn't win the first club so East, when he get if he when he does gain the lead with the if he does gain the lead with the King of Diamonds, has no more clubs to go back to his partner. Okay. Now, if East is on the ball, he should realise that playing the King and it's very tempting to beat the Queen with a King is risky if you do have another uh, diamond. So in fact, what he should do is let you win that. Let you win that, um, and now. Declarer will not be able to get any more diamonds. He, you're sort of giving away a trick, so Declarer makes one more trick in diamonds, but you're preventing the diamonds from being um, set up there. So now Declarer um, has no good chance, and uh, uh, if we uh, click on the link there, we'll see that 
uh, anything he leads now will probably be uh, defeated by one uh, one trick there. So um, so that was an example. If we if we rewind it in uh, in thinking about your entries, trying to force an entry to dummy there where you have no entries, but a good east may defeat you by um, by refusing to take the king there. Okay. Um, that was uh, all I wanted to really uh, cover today. I'll just unmute you all. Did anyone have any questions um, about that, about any of that? Anyone you'd like to meet go over yes, again? Tony, yes. Uh, uh, in this one, if uh, the king, uh, the opponent doesn't uh, release the king, that yeah. means we'll be down with one or two tricks. Well, so uh, if we if we replay it at this point, uh, so, so at this moment, East yeah. has a choice of winning the king or not. And if you click mm -hmm. on this link, you'll see that if you, you play the king... Um, no, if you don't play the king. Yeah, if you don't play the king, then then then, then declare it can't make this contract now. Because yeah, all, they, all they've got now is the eight, their aces and kings. And, if, yeah, so, uh, and then they can make uh, two uh, clubs and also the queens. Well... Yeah, I mean that when they get in, I mean all all declarer, if if declarer, if declarer plays, if declarer play, depends on what declarer plays now, but um, as, if they keep keep the right cards, east and west can stop declarer making more than uh, uh, four more tricks mm -hmm. now. They, north north has made uh, three tricks, and north south made three tricks. They can make four more, uh, but they'll still be one down. Unless they're, they're lucky. I mean, you, you would still play this out and hope maybe that you, you'll get a heart somehow if maybe, um, you know, if maybe West doesn't hang on to their, um, mm. hang on to their hearts. Okay. okay. Any you. other comments or questions on that? No. That's it. All right. Thank so you. anyway, I hope, uh, I hope that will help. Some of you who have uh, been asking about no Trump play, uh, the main thing is just don't um, don't catch your winners, and uh, and uh, try and make a plan setting up uh, all your tricks. Yeah. A lot to think about. But, uh, good <laughs> thank luck. you, Tony. That was very useful. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to stop you. stop the meeting now. So see you all online at uh, two o'clock. I hope. See you then.